from 95% of black owned businesses of sole proprietorships um, mm-hmm. and how, you know, oftentimes when, you know, a, a black entrepreneur is looking for capital, you know, we on average only get about $35,000 um, for startup capital, whereas our, our white counterparts get over, you know, $106,000 um, wow. to start with. So there's, you know, a, a significant gap um, in terms of the amount of startup capital that black entrepreneurs are often able to access um, in order to start a business, which means that a lot, there's a lot of talent just sitting on the sidelines that goes untapped and unused because of, you know, we don't have collateral because we have don't have um, the, the correct credit scores, right? Because oftentimes we might take out a, a loan, um, a predatory loan in order to, to try to start a business, which, you know, really mm-hmm. um, worsens our credit scores, you know, even more because now we've got, you know, this high interest loan that makes it impossible to pay back. Um, so, you know, I yeah, just feel you're like, like taking something that's risky already, inherently risky and in starting a business, but then you're adding on this cr- a crazy high interest rate loan on top of it. So you've yep. just put, you just like compounded the whole risk factor for someone who probably doesn't have as much to fall back on if things don't exactly. work out. Exactly. Exactly. And a lot of times, you know, we, we are in a position where one mistake will cripple the business or end the business completely. Right. So we don't have don't really have an opportunity to make mistakes.